Boom! Back with another one. Enough love to everyone that's been locked into my channel so far. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. Done a poll on my Instagram the other day, seeing what you lot wanted me to speak about next. Most of you chose growing up in my size, so let's get straight to it. You see, for me, yeah, growing up in the hood and that, for the most part, especially in the 90s, it was a blessed place, innit? Like, there was bare things going on, but as a kid, you're just oblivious to things, innit? You even see things, you hear things, but you don't care. Like, 20 minutes later after hearing shots, you still want to go and play outside. You don't see no danger in it, you get me? So, more what I remember of the night is, is everything being blessed, the community vibe, the way people helped each other, more of a struggle, of, I mean, more understanding of each other's struggles and that. You get me? Like, chicken run, enough times I've been there, I see people going there, brook, and Ducker will hook them up with the chicken and chips or my like Popeye the ice cream man used to rig me up with um, slushes and that enough times. You get me? But boom, even though everyone identified with each other's struggle, that's I'm talking like the adults and that. You get me? Like, kids are kids, innit? So when man's going nettle with my mum, when man's walking over from nettle with them bright ass yellow bags and I'm seeing other kids. I'm trying to duck and die from everybody. You get me? But you see the same people man's trying to duck and die from. They're trying to duck and die from me, bro. So, it was just like that, innit? Everyone was in the same boat. You get what I mean? But even then, back then, yeah, there weren't no Asda in you. It was just literally Moss, I mean, um, Moss Side Precinct, Quick Save on Wimslow Road, or that all you get me? That's how it came across, anyway. But, boom. Remember Adventure, that was a blessed place. Like if you if you're from the hood, yeah, if you're from my side and you didn't go adventure, you're just a kid that went a lot out in it. You definitely went outside, you get me? You was an inside baby. Which is okay, but we're talking about outside right now, so boom. Adventure's where I first learned how to play like water bounce. That's where I first friggin' probably even climbed the roof. Definitely the first place I had a toasty. Remember they used to whip up beans toasties and that. You get what I mean? Then um Yeah, Adventure was like the first youth club you get me everyone went to. Then boom, I moved from Wally Range to my side. Lived on an estate that's a one way in, one way out. So I was just on that estate playing football, start playing for Fletcher and that. And it's like the, the 2000s is where a man can say, yeah, man's venturing, man's seeing the whole hood in it properly, you get me? Man's got an understanding of what's really going on. So now man's venturing out, man's going to check in my boy on Small Deal, man's going to check in my boy on Parkman, you get me? He's, man's just going all over, like I'm saying, you're learning now, this is now you're learning who's who and what's what, because it's not like nowadays where you freaking. Someone says a name and you can search them up and find them and you know what someone looks like before you ever see them. Them times, bro, you'll be hearing about a man for five years and not have a clue what this guy looks like, innit? So, man's going to check in my boy apartment one time. I've been hearing about one Gooch kid for years, you get me? So, I'm on apartment now, I'm playing picture toss with the same guy I've been hearing about, but I don't know it's him. Playing picture toss now, I lost. I picked up my dorm saying, fuck that. He's just laughing. We've gone again. We played again. I've won. Collected the door. Then he's like, Oh, do you want to go shop for me? Give me the money. And that said, Right, well, keep all the change. And that saying, Cool, I'll go. Rid there. When I got to the shop, my boy's like, Right, do you know who that is? I said, Nah. He's like, It's blah, blah. Psh, I thought, Yo, if I knew, I wouldn't have said a goddamn thing. But you know what, bro? I'm glad I did because my mom probably respected it. You get me? But yeah, so boom. Either way now, like I'm saying, I started to venture out. Then around like all four or something, probably around there, all three or four. That's when people my age now, a couple of mana started to gamble, and couple of mana going one way, a couple of mana going the other way. But for like me and my guys, it was pretty blessed, though, you get me? Like for the cheap, my guys, yeah, me and my guys, we used to chin on Quinny. Quinn is right next to Addict Road, you get me? Addict Road is the separation of Gooch and Donington, so 
on that little block there, you'll see loads of shit. You see people get caught lacking, people getting robbed in that fucking. See one side rolling to the other, the other side rolling to the other, you get me? Even those couple of times, man, I had to split out because people are coming whipping out on there and that, whatever. Just how it went in the hood, though, innit? Enough times, see people getting stripped, like all over the zones, people just getting stripped for the phones and man and shit like that. Lucky for me, man, never got stripped for nothing. Only time I got jacked, I've been friggin' burgled, innit? But the only time I got jacked, it weren't even like off me, it's just leaving a bike outside, you get me, and someone jumping on my bike and my know that happens to everyone in the hood, innit? Literally, but boom. Now these times though, you go in all the youth clubs, you go in like friggin' Proctors, PH, Wiz, all of these places, you get me? Now man started MCing, friggin' entering competitions, all that, so we was cool going everywhere. Then three same ones played for Fletcher. You know how mad back in the day was as well, yeah? And probably around these same times now, man used to play. We used to link up with the Yume kids, yeah? And we would play Yume versus friggin' Fallowfield, you get me? North guys. Mad thing like everyone's just a street kid, more or less. And we're just playing. Literally, like, we'll go get. Bare random guys just linking up for the U team, you get me? So enough guys from my side, enough guys from you, couple guys from Chow and whatever. And then it was just kids from Fallowfield for the Fallowfield team, you get me? Because a mad thing. What's even mad is one of the guys that used to play for Fallowfield ended up fucking rolling for my side kids, you get me? It's crazy. You see enough of that in it, like people switching sides, people that weren't really on it but obviously got peer pressured into it and you see the fall offs and that you see all that shit but like I was saying up until probably like 70 or 07 sorry everything's just like blessing it then when you active now on the roads then that's when you get into a bit of like free game you know what I mean a bit of politics yourself or whatever but even, like I was saying, we've chilled on Quinny, yeah? I remember one time I was on Quinny, bro, yeah? And we had a family party. But we're just literally around the corner from the from the family party, you get me? And there's a car getting about and a couple of men in the car that are active, bro. So, I've heard the car hit our bend. There's one guy that sat on the fence, yeah? And my man has just been so shook, yeah? He threw himself off the fence. Literally, just onto his back on concrete and just laid on the floor so he was underneath like the fucking the gate in it so you couldn't see him so boom then another guy dust out jumped over the fence and that but then when these are pulled up man have just ended up speaking when the kid on the floor has realized that these are cool he's jumped up gone to the car give him all the fist and that like he's mr confident and it's mad car. a few years later in life, my man ended up rolling with these same guys, innit? So like I was saying, in the hood, you see it like, one time, man chilling here, next minute, they're over there, and that. Just how it went, you get me? But, boom. Like I was saying, up until that point, yeah. I used to love the hood, like, I used to think I'd be a millionaire that lives in the hood. I'm going to pattern all my boys. We're going to all live in that one street of gaffs and this and that. Now, when you start getting into a bit of politics yourself and whatnot, you start to realise that, like, yo, the aim's to get out of the hood, innit? Even though it'd be nice to to be able to do that, it's the mindset in the hood, innit? Because we're bred into it, you get what I mean? The things we see from early and that. Like, man used to go to Alvino's every day from school, yeah? That was one of my favourite joints in the hood, you get me? On the way back from school, I would go get a patty of dumpling, drink for a pound. And that's the same spot where my cousin died, innit? So, me personally, I, I just learnt to keep things moving in life, but there'll be a lot of people that, like, things like that. They have trauma over them kind of things, innit? That's why there's a lot of people that suffer badly with depression and anxiety and things like that in the hood, I reckon. Because you're you having to go to the same places where family members and loved ones and that have been killed and shit. Do you get me? But yeah, like like I'm saying, the hood's a very, very nice place. I remember back in the day, the carnivals and that, the carnivals were lit. Even though, forget you'll have 
bare gooch man there, uh, bare done it in man there. Uh, it was still a sickest vibe ever. Back then the, the friggin' after party were even we even on the uh, Claremont Road, beyond the hill. You get me? Popping. You see Claremont Road, yeah, even before my time. Do you know how infamous that road is? At one time, yeah. The whole strip would have been full of mud licking off, yeah. And it was everyone in it. So this is why, yeah, when I've been getting comments and I see like people saying, oh, talk about Gucci and Donut in the night is, like I said, as a kid, you're kind of oblivious, yeah. But I'd love to be able to speak to someone on a podcast and get a real insight of how it went down in it and like what proper, proper started in it. Because like I'm saying, as far as I'm aware, at one stage, everyone was on Claremont Road just doing their thing. And that's when the, the drugs obviously came about. So I would love to know what the, the original separation of everything was, how things went down and whatnot. You get me? I can work on it. If you've got any names that you think would be sick for a podcast like that, make sure you drop them in the comments. If um, you've got any stories about my side, if you've got any things that you think I should have touched on, then let me know in the comments. And let me know what other topics you would like me to speak about. The next one I'm going to speak about is snitches though. So don't think I got away with that. Everyone that was trying to avoid that one, I'm coming for you. <laughs> but yeah, look. Um, make sure you drop a comment. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll be back with another one real soon. For now, we're out. Put it up.